Hi, this is example number one of chapter 15 and section 15.1. So we have a, a box that is lying in a horizontal surface and the surface is smooth, right? And it's originally at rest and a force of 200 Newton is applied at 45 degrees and after 10 seconds, we like to find the final velocity and the normal force. So what would be the best approach to solve this problem? When we are given force, we are given time, and we like to find velocity. So which equation provides us a relation between force, time, and velocity? The best approach is the principle of linear momentum. So I'm going to apply The principle of linear momentum, as you know, it says that the impulse forces are equals to the difference between the, the linear momentum. So I, I can write it in several different ways. Uh, so we have the, the linear momentum in the initial position plus the integral of all the forces applied to the system between zero and the time will be equals to the, the linear momentum in the second position. Here we have a constant force and uh, we have that it's initially in rest, so the initial velocity is equal to zero. I apply that in x direction. I can apply that in, a, in y direction as well. Let me So in x direction, and then I will apply it in y. So let's do this expression right here. So we only have one force, and in x direction is the component of 200 newtons four times cosine of 45. So we have the integral. 0 to t, then my, my force, which is cosine of 45 dt. And that will be equal to the mass, which is 100, times the final velocity, which is what I want to find, right? So here I do this integral. Since this is a constant, this goes out of the integral, and, the, and it's just the time. So it will be 200 square root of 2 over 2 times the time which is given, which is 10, equals to 100 velocity of x. So we, I solve for velocity final in x, and I get that the velocity x final will be equals to 14.1 meters over second. So we were able to find the final velocity. To find the normal force, uh, we could do it with the same approach, or we could draw our free body diagram. See, to, to follow the same approach, if I do y, I have my velocity in y0 plus all the forces, let me put here x and here y, equals to mass times y final. And then, since the initial velocity in y is zero, and the final velocity in y is zero as well, because the crate never moves in this direction, it only slides, then I would have, this is the integral, what forces do I have in my y direction? I should draw my free body diagram, right? Free body diagram to make sure that I'm, I'm placing all my forces. I'm, having all my forces, right? I have the weight. I have that force that is applied at 45 degrees. And I have the normal force. Remember that the normal force not necessarily is at the center of the box because I have a Another force applied that also move that normal force. So here I see that the forces in Y will be equals to negative weight plus normal plus 200 sine of 45. The, the T. So since that integral is equal to zero, it's the same as saying that the this here is equals to zero. I don't even have to integrate that expression because it's equals to zero. So I solve, solve for the normal. 
and I have that the normal force will be equals to the weight minus 200 square root of 2 over 2. And the weight, you remember, that is 100 times gravity minus 100 square root of 2. So finally, the normal is equals to 840 newtons. Please notice that I apply the principle of linear momentum for the y-axis as well, but it would have been exactly the same result if I add forces in y because I don't have any motion. So there are always several approaches that you can use to solve the same problem. This is the solution of this problem then.